Hello, welcome to how to solve this very nice algebra equation x to the power 1 over 2 minus x to the power 1 over 3 is equal to 4. We need to find all possible values of x. Since LCM of this 2 and this 3, LCM of 2 and 3 is 6. So, we suppose that let x is equal to m to the power 6 and we substitute m to the power 6 in place of this x then this equation will become m to the power 6 whole to the power this power 1 over 2 minus in place of this x we put m to the power 6 whole to the power this power 1 over 3 is equal to 4. Now by using this rule of exponents a to the power m whole to the power n is equal to a to the power m times n. We multiply this power 6 by this power 1 over 2. So 2 1 time and 2 3 times 6. From here 3 1 time 3 2 times 6. So, here we are left with m cubed minus m squared is equal to 4. Now, we subtract 8 from both sides. m cubed minus m squared and we subtract 8 from left side is equal to 4 and we subtract 8 from right side. Next, m cubed minus m squared minus 8 is equal to this 4 minus 8 is negative 4. Now, because this 8, this 8 is equal to 2 cubed. So, we write this 8 with this m cubed. And because this 4, this 4 is equal to 2 squared. So, we write this 4 with this m squared. Like this, m cubed minus 8 minus m squared. This negative 4 will become positive 4 at left side is equal to 0. Next, m cubed minus 8. From these two terms, the negative m squared plus 4, we use here minus and parenthesis. Then this the negative m squared will become positive m squared and this the plus 4 will become negative 4 is equal to 0. Next, m cubed minus this 8 can be written as 2 cubed minus m squared minus this 4 can be written as 2 squared is equal to 0. Now, by using this algebraic identity a cubed minus b cubed is equal to a minus b times a squared plus a b plus b squared. This m cubed minus 2 cubed can be factorized as m minus 2 times m squared plus 2 times m plus 2 squared or 4 minus by using this algebraic identity a squared minus b squared is equal to a plus b times a minus b. This uh, m squared minus 2 squared can be factorized as m plus 2 times m minus 2 is equal to 0. Now, as you can see this expression m minus 2, this expression m minus 2 is a common factor. So, we factor out this m minus 2 and in bracket left 
in bracket left this m squared plus 2m plus 4 minus this m plus 2 in bracket left m squared plus 2 times m plus 4 minus m plus 2 is equal to 0. Next m minus 2 times m squared plus 2 times m plus 4. We remove bracket this minus will change the signs of these two terms. This plus m becomes minus m and this plus 2 becomes minus 2 is equal to 0. Next m minus 2 times this m squared m squared and this uh, plus 2m minus 1m will become plus m. This plus 4 minus 2 will become plus 2 is equal to 0. And from here either this expression m minus 2 is equal to 0 or this expression m squared plus m plus 2 is equal to 0. From this equation we get the value of m is equal to 2. From this equation we see that the discriminant of this equation is less than 0 or greater than 0. In this equation a is equal to 1, b is equal to 1 and c is equal to 2 and discriminant is equal to b squared minus 4ac. Next, in place of b squared we write 1 squared minus 4 times in place of a we write 1 times in place of c we write 2 and 1 squared is 1 minus 4 times 1 times 2 8 is equal to 1 minus 8 negative 7. So, the discriminant that is also called delta is less than 0. No real solutions can be found from this equation. So, we accept only this value of m2. Now, recall that we have supposed we have supposed that x is equal to m to the power 6. We have supposed that x is equal to m to the power 6. So, to find the value of x in place of this m, we put this value of m 2. Then this equation will become x is equal to 2 to the power 6. x is equal to 2 to the power 6 is 64. So, this is the value of x, this is the final answer of this equation. Now, let us uh, verify this value of x by putting this value in the original equation. The original equation is x to the power 1 over 2 minus x to the power 1 over 3 is equal to 4. In this equation, we put the value of x 64. So, this equation will become 64 to the power 1 over 2 minus 64 to the power 1 over 3 is equal to 4. Now, this 64 can be written as 8 squared whole to the power this power 1 over 2 minus and this 64 can be written as 4 cubed whole to the power this power 1 over 3 is equal to 4. Now, these two will be cancelled out with this 2 and this 3 will be cancelled out with this 3 and here we are left with 8 minus 4 is equal to 4 and 8 minus 4 is 4 is equal to 4 
you can see that left hand side is equal to the right hand side so this value of x 64 is a valid solution